Hi everyone, this is my agility vlog. Uh, we're looking at the three cone agility drill. Very well known for its use in the NFL Combine over in America. Uh, very good test of acceleration in the first few steps. 90 degree and 180 degree turning ability. So here's me doing the drill for the first time. Um, the first thing on reflection that I noticed, obviously make sure you've got enough space to, to complete uh, the drill properly. Uh, but then looking at the three main areas, looking at start position, um, needs some improvement. Uh, the first section, uh, out to the first cone and back again, just there. Um, and then the third section would be the running from this third cone position here, round and back to the finish. So those are the three main areas, uh, amongst other things that we'll be, be looking at. So looking at the, uh, the start position here, I would suggest on reflection, that the front position is too far underneath the hip, um, causing the weight to be too far back behind uh, that front foot. Uh, there's not enough knee flex, and there's a little bit too much hip flexion as well. What this causes, as you can see, is a popping up action uh, in those first few strides, um, and lacking the ability to create triple extension to drive off the mark. So looking at the movement between the first two cones as well now, uh, this clearly needs to be a little bit more explosive uh, be the first to admit that this is a capacity issue due to uh, insufficient strength um, in the, the lower limbs to deal with the, the breaking forces um, in those uh, ankle and knee joints. Um, this clearly needs to be improved um, in, in any kind of training. Moving on to the split screens here, you can see the athlete on the, on the left deals with those forces to a much greater extent. The knee and hip position of the stopping the deceleration leg is much better um, and the drive off the anterior leg uh, is also there due to the capacity of strength uh, being sufficient to, to deal with that and produce those forces as well. So the last thing we're going to quickly look at here is just the, the, the curve run from the third cone there around this corner. Uh, to the final finish cone. Um, obviously the space is a little bit restricted here which is, is not ideal in any way. Um, you can see that just running into this corner cone there's some deceleration which doesn't allow the full ability uh, of, of acceleration to have an effect. So the, the adjustment here would clearly be to, enable, uh, to have enough space um, so that that full flowing arc can be created to finish the run. So here's the second attempt after a, a little bit of training. Um, so I think the start position is a little bit lower, however the foot position still needs more work. The, they need to be moved to allow the weight shift um, to, to move forward and to not be over the hip, to allow that start to be more uh, horizontal than, than vertical. There is a little bit more explosion off the mark. There's two fewer steps in this um, attempt compared to the original version. Um, this could be down to the intent placed on the, the activity uh, or the drill um, and the idea of trying to jump out at the start rather than it being more of a running acceleration type of uh, uh, start. There is less popping up uh, but the strength capacity deficiencies are still clear to see uh, and the inability to deal with the forces around deceleration and acceleration in and out of those first two cones running out to five back to zero and back out again uh, are still there. There's a much better tight line running around the cones on the way out uh, and especially uh, running from cone three to the finish just here. So out from the third cone there, running tight around that final cone. You can see a much wider line. Obviously this is uh, putting this purely down to the space available um, in, in the drill. I think having coached this drill uh, and, and tried to imp make improvements, I found breaking it down into the components helped uh, a lot developing the individual parts, i.e. the start and then the initial out and back and then the running arc. Also not taking it on face value of it being purely an agility drill. The out and back uh, to the first cone is definitely uh, more of a bounding like action than it is sprinting. Um, so combining ideas from acceleration uh, and explosive power techniques did help me in my coaching approach here uh, to develop uh, much more. 